Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Gunmetal. My name is Burning Earth Chris, and I'm gonna be your pilot tonight. So, Gunmetal. This was originally an Xbox title for the original, original Xbox. And, um, it was released back in 2002 by Rage Entertainment, I believe. Um, essentially, it's an arcade-style game where you pilot a jet fighter that transforms into a robot suit, so... It's kind of like Transformers in that regard, but, um, it's very, it's a fast-paced, very short game. I think, or, I think you guys are gonna like it. I, I personally really liked playing this game when I was younger, so. This, the PC port of this game was 73 cents on Steam. Can you guys believe that? 73 cents. <laughs> but, uh, I think this game's gonna be pretty fun, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. We get a new game. Burning Earth Chris. Looks good. So the background of the game is you pilot a suit called the Havoc suit, which is essentially the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The result of Project Gunmetal. So, and you have to defend this planet called Helios from forces from Earth that are trying to take it over. Um, the colonists of Helios are essentially a peace-loving, farming-type people. Uh, the Earth is more military in this game, but um, it's a nice little twist on the sci-fi genre where you're usually defending Earth and said this time you had to fight back against it. Kind of like in the original Colony Wars, come to think of it, but um, I digress. So, this game is, like I said before, this game is very short. Um, the missions are very short, but um, it's pretty fun, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So here are the uh, here are the options that you have. Um, certain weapons are only available to certain mode types. So certain weapons like the Vulcan cannons and the Phalanx are only available to the jet mode. The machine guns and the uh, black gun are only available in in the suit mode. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. This farming area is the source of essential provisions for our troops. We have done all we can to prevent enemy occupation, but the front line has finally been breached. Our intelligence headquarters has now come under heavy attack. It is finally time to reveal Project Gunmetal. Show no mercy! Before I begin, if someone could identify that voice actor, please do. I've looked over IMDB, but I haven't seen a single reference to who this guy was, but uh, if, you, if anybody out there knows, please, please, by all means, share... Uh, Post a comment. If anyone from Rage Entertainment ends up watching this, please uh, let me know. I'm happy to give you a shout out if you want to, but. Alright, let's go. First mission. The headquarters is under siege. Assist the Allied forces. There's no tutorial, you just go straight into the action. You control the game. You control the suit with the uh, WASD keys and the and then the mouse as well to fire your guns and aim. Uh, another one over here. Nope. And as you guys can guess, blue means good, red means bad. has been repelled. Perform a reconnaissance of the area and verify that our weapons plant remains intact. If the subtitles are funky, I apologize. I don't plant has been marked with a cross on your radar. I don't know why that's happening, but uh all right, so that was the Havoc suit. Here's the Havoc jet. So again, WASD keys to control it. Uh you use the mouse to steer. Uh DNA allow you to barrel roll left and right. S allows you to brake. W allows you to speed up. The weapons plant appears to be fully functional. Take advantage of the ammo dumps and re-energizer before completing your reconnaissance. So these are ammo dumps, and here's the re-energizer. You stand near this, and then the bot the number in the bottom right quarter, which is your armor, will go up. Until it has 100% that is. So, alright, that's good. 
We have detected multiple airborne hostiles at the farming area. They should at least provide some useful target practice. Head toward the marker on your radar. Alrighty. I do apologize for the lens flare there, folks. Not much I can really do about that. <laughs> and you have a special secondary weapon, by the way, on the jet and the suit modes. It's a limited number of missiles. They fire in volleys of four and track your targets accordingly. As long as they have a little orange diamond around them. <laughs> Project Gunmetal is everything we had hoped for. The enemy has been defeated, and allied casualties are light. Well done. All right, first mission's done already. See, we didn't need to know that much about the game to know that we do know how to beat it. <laughs> but yeah, two minutes, 39 seconds. Again, like I said, these missions are very short, so. On to the next one. Mission two, Defender. So this game has eight zones. You'll notice that the first mission took place in zone one. The second one's going to take place in Zone 2. Um, essentially, there, essentially, Helios is made up of eight continental areas, so um, every mission will take place in a different zone. So, do be aware of that. We got a new weapon here, Torpedoes. So, these weapons essentially hug the ground. So, like, you fire one off, it'll hug the ground as it moves towards its target. So that's, that's very, very useful. It is only available to the tor to the Havoc suit, but we're going to get a weapon similar to that for use in the jet. The enemy has been deploying automatons to deliver devastating explosives to our settlements. We have detected a number of these walking bombs making their way toward our weapons research facility. Protect our settlements and do not let the enemy jeopardize the arms program. Okay, let's go. Our settlements are vulnerable to attack. You are their only hope. As I am in every video game. <laughs> yeah, so those automatons, when you shoot them, they will explode like a nuclear bomb, so be careful of that. I forgot to show this off. The flat gun is like a shotgun. You press the uh, E key to switch between weapons. And that APC is done. Now let's see these torpedoes. Those little guys with the electricity arcing around them like that, those are the automatons. We do not want to get too close to those things because when they explode, as I mentioned before, oof. I probably wasted that barrage of missiles, but that's okay. We can re replenish them later. One thing I will say about this game, the sense of scale is really, really nice. Well done. Settlement one is safe for now. More enemy units are approaching settlement two. You are needed there immediately. Like it takes a little bit to get to the next settlement, but not super, super long. I'm gonna take this guy out first because if that APC lands, they'll deploy more troops, and that's not good. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of these guys now. Oof. Hey. Screw off. I'm trying to kill you guys. That should do him in. There we go. Nice. The on settlement two has been warded. Keep it up. Settlement three is now under attack. 
Use every means at your disposal to repel the enemy troops. I'm gonna go grab some ammo and some health before I do that, so. One thing about the Havoc Jet, if you fly into the ground, you will take damage very, very quickly, so don't do that. <laughs> Alright. It takes two weapon dumps for you to get your ammo fully restored. Um, one weapon dump will restore 50% of ammunition for all weapons, including missiles. So do keep that in mind. Alright, he's down. Oof. Shields. Okay, good. Yeah, if we let those automatons get too close and they explode, that will not be good for my, those buildings back there. Settlement three reports no enemy units in the vicinity. Good work. Good work. The mission was a success. All right, mission accomplished. On to the next one. Yeah, that, don't, that mission only took four minutes. Alright, this next one can be a little long, but uh, it's pretty fun regardless. And we got ourselves the Tomahawk. These are like the torpedoes in that they hug the ground uh, whenever you fire them, but they are only accessible to the jet, so... Let's rock! Enemies are amassing at a location dangerously close to the Intelligence HQ. Even you cannot hope to overcome such a powerful force. We are preparing our choppers. And the weapons plant beyond the mountains is dispatching a consignment of armaments. See that the convoy arrives safely, and we may be able to strike first. So we gotta play escort duty here. Work with our forces to protect the weapons convoy. Okay. The convoy ships kind of look like the shuttle craft from Star Trek The Next Generation there. Just a neat little thing that I noticed about it. <laughs> Alright, so let's take out these APCs first, and their uh, little hover tank buddies. Okay... There we go. Hey, stop firing at me. I'll use the Phoenix. You can actually step on these infantry, um, like in like in the video game Mech Assault. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. These artillery tanks are a pain in the butt. Let's take them out. Bye. The convoy is making good progress. Oops. There we go. I'm already uh, almost out of Phoenix ammo. Oh yes, if you get too far out of the uh, territory bounds, it'll automatically steer you back towards the main area. some more artillery tanks over here. Let's test out our torpedoes on these guys. We saw them in the last mission, but let's see how well they do against these fools. Nice, okay. Two will take them out. Alright. 
Alright, good. We're making progress. We're getting there. Enemy APCs. <clears throat> Come on, game, don't steer me back like that. I'm trying to land on top of these guys so I can. Dah! There we go. Hey, suck torpedo. There we go. Bye. There's a tomahawk in action. Woo! That's some good damage there. More hover tanks. But yeah, there's a little story to this game. But, uh, it's a fun shoot 'em up I think. Alright, so if we go over here... There's more hover tanks. And the level of detail on this game is pretty good for a 2002 video game, I will say that. Because you can run through trees, there's little dinosaurs there that were in the farmlands in uh, level 1. The destruction and the particle effects are pretty good. Though I will say it's a little odd that the enemy appear to be launching french fries at us. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of those things. I'm gonna go grab some ammo. There's some ammo near the headquarters building over here. There we go. Nice. Before I head back to the convoy. There's the re-energizer over there. Some more wet ammo if I need it. Don't need it right now though. without it. Alright, let's go over there and give them a hand. By the time we come back, the convoy should be under attack again, so I better make haste. Isn't very nice for an enemy like that. Anyone else? Nope. Okay. But yeah, again, the level of detail. All these little dinosaurs running around. You don't see. You don't. I don't think you see too many indigenous creatures in video games like anymore. At least not in sci-fi games. Alrighty. Once I re-energize re here, I'll head back to the convoy. Yep, they're under attack now. Again, I apologize for the lens flare there, folks. <laughs> but at least it isn't J.J. Abrams. <laughs> I'm 
I was gonna say, why am I just using my Vulcan cannons? There we go. Wait for the convoy, then we can launch a concerted attack. Yes, yes, I know, command. <laughs> it's a neat little detail, though. The headquarters building actually launched tanks of its own to protect it, to protect itself. I feel like Gunmetal could have made a pretty good strategy game given the chance, but, uh, eh. Alright, the convoy's almost home. And then once the convoy ships approach the, the uh, headquarters building, it'll launch choppers and then we can attack the enemy forces directly. Okay, looks like they're docking now. Good. Our choppers are fully armed and ready to move out. All right, there's the choppers. Get to the choppers! I am gonna wait with these guys because if we go in there right now, we're gonna get slaughtered. <laughs> Let's rock. I got most of them. Nice job. You worked well with our forces to secure victory. Thanks. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for the first episode. I will see you guys in the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care. I'm Burning Earth Chris. If you like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burningearthvfx. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to follow us on Facebook at Burning Earth Productions. Thanks for watching.